in the L good morning students in the earlier video we have discussed about timestamp ordering protocol and we have discussed one example now for better understanding let me discuss another example for you okay so they have given four transactions and they are asking whether it is following the timestamp ordering protocol or not so how to to do it is that if you see that what is the timestamp of each one timestamp of t1 will be some night for better understanding and giving because it can be entered first then which has entered next t2 has entered so it will be some 10 and then t3 so it will be 11 and the next one is t4 so it will be 4 so if you are finding an equivalent serial schedule this is a non serial schedule because if you see that this operation and this operation is it then again it came to the t2 then t3 then again t2 so it is non serial schedule if you are finding an equivalent serial schedule the order should be T1, T2, T3 and T4. If you are not finding this order, then we can say that it is not following the timestamp ordering protocol. Okay. Now listen carefully. We will draw the polygraph for it. For simple understanding. So how many nodes will be there in the polygraph? Four nodes will be there because in the given schedule you have four transactions. Okay. Right of X and then right of x so this is saying transaction 1 to transaction 2 and right of x right of x it is saying transaction 1 transaction 3 okay then right of x read of x it is also saying the transaction 1 to transaction 2 already we have written this is saying transaction 1 transaction 4 okay so it is saying the transaction 1 should be due first. Till now it is okay. Okay. Then transaction 2, transaction 3. So it is saying that after transaction 2, you should execute transaction 3. That is also correct because we should execute the transaction 2, then transaction 3. Now it is saying that transaction 2, transaction 4 should be executed. After transaction 2, transaction 4 should be executed. Say, I think you we have solved enough questions how to draw the polygraph so I am going a little bit fast to explain more examples ok so we have finished this one we will come to this one transaction 3 transaction 2 because I write it and then read so it is saying that transaction 3 should be executed then transaction 2 should be executed whether it is allowed or not it is not allowed because according to the timestamp ordering first Transaction T1, transaction T2, transaction T3, then transaction T4. But because of this write and read conflict, it is saying that it should be the order should be T3 and T2, which is not allowed. So I can say that this schedule is not following the timestamp ordering protocol. So how to make it as equivalent ordering protocol is that we have discussed earlier because this because of this one the problem came so you should roll back and this should be executed next okay I hope you can understand that this is not following the timestamp ordering protocol okay let me give another example for you sorry I am giving another example for you. We will check whether the it is following the timestamp ordering protocol or not. Okay. Now, in the system, this transaction T1 is executed first. So, the transaction T1 will have the timestamp which can be a 9 or anything. Okay. Then, we will do this one. So, my point is that timestamp of T1 is less than timestamp of T2. That is what I want to point out. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we will draw the polygraph. Transaction T1 and transaction T2 then be a polygraph. So read B and then read B. It is not a conflict. So no problem. Then read A, write A. It is a conflict. So it is saying the transaction T1, transaction T2. 
it is okay till now now this is finished right b there is no sorry this is a read b there is this is a right here so it is not a conflict this one right right is a conflict which is saying the transaction t2 to transaction t1 whether it is allowed no because of this conflict it is saying the transaction t2 to transaction t1 but always the order should be t1 and t2 okay so this i can say that because of this one we are facing a problem of timestamp ordering protocol if you want to make it as an order what is the way you can do is that you roll back all these operations and again start executing t1 later then obviously you will ensure the transaction t2 will be executed then transaction t1 but this schedule is not timestamp ordering protocol to make it as a timestamp ordering protocol you can roll back all the operations of t1 and then start executing later after the t2 then it will be timestamp ordering protocol i hope you have understood or you can easily check a given schedule is following the timestamp ordering or not okay thank you